Welcome viewers, we are here at the Dr. D. Orlando Smith Hospital where the official vaccination rollout ceremony is being held. Inside, there is a number of government officials being vaccinated with the first jab of the COVID-19 vaccine. And we're hoping to catch up with them to hear all about their sentiments towards the COVID-19 vaccine. Let's take a look, viewers. I must say, I feel mighty fine. You know, having taken the vaccine, I want to encourage other persons, particularly those on the social silence. This COVID situation is not going to get any better for the BVI until we get vaccinated, a large percentage of the population. Not only are we going to protect ourselves, we're also going to protect others from this devastating effect. If we are going to open our borders and going to restart commerce again in the BVI, we must get vaccinated. Lots of rumors out there, but I can assure you the vaccine is totally and absolutely safe. Procedure, the vaccine is harmless, it is painless, it is quick. So I want to encourage everyone, forget about all the nonsense you've been hearing, go and get vaccinated. Our very future depends on it. Yes, I'm very happy that I've taken it. I have decided from very early, as soon as the vaccine is available, I want it to be one of the first examples to the public to know that this is science that tested these vaccines and that it's a helpful thing in this very serious pandemic that we have. And I want it to be an example to my constituents, to the public, to my family, to my coworkers, that uh, it's a good thing to do to take this vaccine. And today I got my first jab, as you say, and I feel good about it. I've had it for the last what, 30 minutes or so and I'm still standing and feel very good. And I want to encourage everyone, as soon as you have the opportunity to take this vaccine, take it. Do your best. Don't listen to a lot of fables, a lot of wrong information. Do your own research and see what it means to take this vaccine. Our country needs it. You need it. We all need it to be healthy in the fight against this pandemic. So I do encourage everyone to not listen to the negatives, but look at the positives and take that vaccine. I, I look forward to that. I'm feeling absolutely fine. It's like any other jab comes into the arm, you feel a small prick. Uh, and I am looking forward to the rest of my day ahead. I'm looking forward to playing some sport this evening. And I'm pleased to have got that first dose of vaccine, which I believe will help me and also help those with whom I work because it helps to protect against transmission. So I'm feeling good, thank you. Decision was based on, on the science. It's very clear that taking the vaccine gives considerable protection against catching coronavirus and also protects against transmission of coronavirus. And the World Health Organization has made clear that the AstraZeneca uh, vaccine, uh, which is here on island, is safe for use of people of all ages. So. Uh, I'm a little over 60. I was confident that I could take uh, the vaccine. I'm confident that it will help to protect people across the Virgin Islands. 
viewers, well, you cite a number of officials receiving their first jab of the COVID-19 vaccine. Governor John Rankings, leader of the opposition, Marlon A. Penn, as well as Speaker of the House and so many others. Now, we saw that Premier Foy did not quite get the jab just as yet but he has said that he will be receiving the jab just next week after frontline staff has received their jab he is calling this an act of patriotism but viewers the rollout of the vaccination has started and many officials are telling you to get on board i think many conversations still needs to be had and of course we here at 284 news will be keeping you updated i am kyla kenisha forbes